So while the oven preheats, you can see the temperature's going up pretty quickly here. Well, it was until I looked at it and tried to point out to somebody, there it goes, finally. Um, so I want to show you the preparation process that goes on here. First of all, you put some aluminum foil. I, I should mention, I'm certainly not the one who discovered this. Um, and there seems to be a lot of debate about how long to bake it for. I'm going to try this guy for 7 minutes. Uh, the general rule is that anything over 10 to 12 minutes is probably too much, and anything under 5 minutes is probably not enough. I have some aluminum foil balls on all four corners of the video card. Holding it up, you don't want it to make direct contact with your baking sheet or any other surface inside the oven. And so as soon as that gets up to uh, 385, we're going to go ahead and try this out. So there's the card inside the oven. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I think you get the point. It's in there. Oops, excuse me. My timer's going, so uh, once that runs down, I'm going to go ahead and remove it and find out if the card works. When you're removing it from the oven, you want to be really careful. Bearing in mind, the whole point of this process was to turn all of the solder points on the card to liquid. So if you go and move it too fast or flex the card, then you're probably just asking for it to be even more dead than it was before. Okay, I just took it out, and it's actually fairly evident by the shininess of the solder points that are visible that the solder did indeed melt. I can't really get it to focus right now, but... Uh, so my hope is that whatever was ailing it will be fixed and everything will be well reconnected and... Oh yeah, shut up, oven. I guess we'll test it. Let's find out what happens. I'll let it cool for a while and then uh, off we go. Okay, this is the moment of truth. A card is in the system. So let's find out if we get a display on the monitor or not. So far it is looking like or not. Well. There you have it. So I was not able to fix my 8800 GTS with this method, but that doesn't mean that it won't work if uh, the problem actually is something becoming desoldered. So there must be something else wrong with this card that is uh, not related to that, and it's time to throw it away. Thank you for checking out my video blog, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.